we are on our motorcycle tour around Spain and today we are leaving Ronda and heading to Malaga. Sean is just packing up the motorcycle. We parked it in a little car park here while we looked around Ronda. You can see that in the previous video. And yeah, we're just gonna head towards Malaga, right? No real yep, plan. Exactly, it looks like there's an awesome route there. So come along with us as we take our R1250 GS adventure to Malaga on the awesome roads of Spain. So we are leaving Ronda now, but we're actually going to be riding over the famous bridge which everybody comes to see. Um, we stayed near it last night and you'll have seen that in our last vlog. But now we're going to ride over and ride out of Ronda and hopefully into some incredible roads. It's looking good. There's a national park nearby, so we're going to head north and then we're going to go east through the national park and then we're going to drop down south uh, into Malaga which is going to be great awesome it looks like one of the roads is used to do like uh, car sprints so I've got high okay. hopes for it and here we go over the very famous gorge bridge wow this is pretty cool yeah awesome place Rhonda it was a trip highlight Right, that's the bull ring that we went to. We didn't venture further up here, did we? No, we didn't do this part of town. But, uh, I think it was mostly like shops with a... But they're really nice though. A nice little town centre with um, a grid formation, isn't it? What's so nice about Rondo is that it's so clean and it's so well preserved like some of the facades and the architecture get dates back to the 1700s and it's really nice to see how well looked after this place is so we are just about leaving Ronda now we're on the outskirts in the more residential area we plan on riding two and a half to three hours through um, this southern Spanish countryside and hopefully we'll see some of these famous little villages where all of the houses are painted white and they're very picturesque so we'll be heading there now Should we go down here? Yeah, why not? We can actually get all the way down. Just give it a go. Such an unusual shape, this uh, this lake. This is uh, incredible. Maybe a cooking up. <laughs> Hawaii, yeah. 
Wow, look at the birds as well. I think that's the end of the road. <laughs> Go up high, I think. Oh, it's a bit sandy. Just a little. Wow. I would never have thought this was Spain. <laughs> this as we pulled into this little national park area there was a little gravel sandy track that we've took down to the reservoir and it's an absolutely beautiful spot uh, nice and quiet really peaceful yeah so and we just set up like a little camp to cook some dinner because we were both getting super hungry so we got some pasta some pesto some plant-based sausages we're going to cook them up and we've, we nearly ran out of fuel on this yeah, trip we've what we're like two and a half weeks in and we've used about a litre of the primus cooking fuel i have to say it's it's lasted quite a long time yeah we've, we've not been conservative not at all uh, and you've had hot water bottles on your camping <laughs> as well to use a bit of gas yeah <laughs> so um, we're gonna eat this enjoy the views around us and then get back on the road it's still another two hours to malaga and i think the roads are just going to keep getting better yeah there's some good roads up ahead and we quite like riding into the evening because it's not quite in the midday sun so yeah gonna eat this and we'll get back on the road in a minute and we'll make sure we put a tag of this in the description of this location because it's the perfect spot to camp overnight we would have done it i think if we hadn't planned to be in malaga this evening um it's a great a great spot you're quite secluded it's easy to get to from the main road and yeah the sunset here would be something It'll special be very nice, yeah. So we thought we found a, a secluded spot for our little campfire, but um, we've been surrounded by uh, sheep and rams. Sean, rev the engine. <laughs> Seems to work quite well, like keeping them Spot, at bay. Uh, it's a new feature on the GS Adventure. You can herd sheep with it. Maybe I should have stopped a little bit further up, but it's okay. Okay? Yeah. Let's ride. Thanks, Pete. You're welcome. Thanks for picking me up. Thank <laughs> you, all right. Some big bumps here. Some big branches. <laughs> and smooth again. Smooth again. Oh, smooth tarmac. Just riding through a, a sleepy, sleepy Spanish town. <laughs> Does it? It reminds me of. Uh, it reminds me of some of the outback Australia where you stop on the oh, what was it the Indian Pacific train I think in the middle of in the middle of that train track there were some random mining towns and that just reminded me of it. It was a nice town though. Okay, we're just stopping for fuel here at a galp. <laughs> it is a galp, galp yeah. <laughs> and we've got diesel, diesel, gasoline in the wrong place. <laughs> Trying to trick me in, trying to trying to trick us, aren't they? I step away from that. But we're gonna yeah, go and see what on. the I'm gonna go see what the uh, the galp has to offer us in way of uh, drinks and snacks. Oh, it's a warm one today. It must be 25 degrees. We got two of these to try and a red licorice, which we already tried here in Spain. It's pretty good actually. So we're gonna get that and then we'll uh, get back on the road. We've just turned on to the A1775 and so far it looks fantastic riding these roads through Andalusia. Look at this! Oh, we're surrounded by cliffs at the moment. I hope we're going to go over them. But it looks good. Not much other traffic on the road at the moment and the road conditions are pretty good. Fair news to Spain, they have got some really good quality roads. 
hard to keep your eye on the road actually the scenery is wonderful yeah it's kind of hills and mountains and it's <laughs> super green and you can just about see the sea in the distance you can it's quite nice there's good visibility on the, these corners see what's coming or what's not riding on the MA3101 and this is going to take us into Malaga it's uh, we've got about 40 minutes to an hour on this road and it's all twists and turns all the way down to the coastline so it is a great alternative than the motorway or if you're going to hire a motorbike from Malaga this is a great road to come on for a little bit of yeah. a play yeah it feels like you are riding on top of the, the peaks, just skipping one to another and carving your way through them. It's, you've got quite a lot of altitude, which is nice because you can see the sea in the distance as you keep approaching. What Absolutely. a great road. Yeah, and it doesn't seem very busy. I think it's more of an access road for the people that live up here, but what a place to live. Oh, I've just pulled over. There's an absolutely lovely set of S-Bends just coming straight ahead that's hugging the mountain edge. So let's go ride them. Let's go enjoy it. <laughs> Just down there. Whoa. 
it's like brand new tarmac. <laughs> what road is this, Sean, for everyone? It's the MA3101. Wow. And we're heading south. This is not one to be missed. Wow. Wow. More and more uh, peaks coming into view. You can just about see the, uh, the boring motorway from this <laughs> road. <laughs> All of the people on that wishing in they were on this. Yeah, they don't know what they're missing out on. in this as the sun goes down and there's just nobody on these roads no it's not is it who'd have thought malaga was a motorcycle paradise not you me. think of malaga you think of just cheap booze <laughs> and yeah. resorts well we might have some cheap booze tonight i think i think cheap. you deserve a beer after all these curves It's not what I expected of Spain, to be honest, I don't know what I did expect. But these like um, little little hills that lead into mountains. Yeah. It's, um, it sounds crazy, but it looks like the Hobbit land in Lord of the Rings to me. I think you'll find the Hobbit land is called the Shire. <laughs> <laughs> I do apologise to all Lord of the Rings fans for that. One does it not simply like quote Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Caught and Sean, these are great. This is so yeah, much fun. There's infinite combinations of these roads as well. There's not like just one route. But this for me is the best time of day to be riding in Spain. Yeah. Temperatures drop just below 20. And the sun's going down. It really does feel like you could go on these roads all day. There's lots of little offshoots to go down. Loads of villages to explore and you're so close to Malaga. Absolutely, even if you're using Malaga as a base and you want to escape for a while. <laughs> I don't know about you, I know we've had this bike for for two weeks and we've taken it on a couple of other tours at 12.50 but I've fallen in love again. Yeah, he's great, isn't it? We've got we're just about to turn over to five and a half thousand kilometres on the clock on the bike and that's straight out the showroom and it's been fantastic. Mm -hmm. For anyone wondering as well, um, we get a lot of comments about our helmets. We're actually wearing the Touratech helmets this trip. They're carbon fibre and they've been fantastic so far. Really light and we love a flip-up helmet when we're travelling. Yeah, the flip-up lids are such an advantage. Yeah, just stopping to take a photo, taking a drink. We really like them. It just keeps going. This road just keeps on skipping and hopping from hill to hill. This guy's doing well. Go on. <laughs> Go on, lad. A lot of respect for the, the cyclists coming up here. I'm exhausted and I'm on a bike. <laughs> Maybe when we find a restaurant this evening, we can have a look in the Lonely Planet, see if we can plan a little walking tour for tomorrow. Yep, that'll be good. We have to look at our schedule as well because I don't. Yeah, we we have to stay on target now because we're coming towards the end of the the trip. Yeah, but we're I actually, think it's all going to work out. Yeah, I think we're about two thousand kilometres, two thousand two hundred from Switzerland. So we need to break that down so we don't end up doing an eight hundred kilometre day back. Yeah, that happens quite often. Is we leave it to last minute and then it has a, a nasty motorway slog back home to finish off the tyres. Yeah. Is that Malaga down there? It looks That's like Malaga it is. Malaga down there. It's quite big. I'll show you guys on the approach. There it is. 
We haven't bulked anything, so if we don't like the look of it, we can carry on. <laughs> yeah, we'll let you know if we end up in uh, Valencia, <laughs> which I think is the next city. So we have arrived in the city centre of Malaga and there are loads of road closures and there is quite a lot of traffic so um, we are just driving through it <laughs> but it's a little bit hectic today. Um, we haven't got a hotel yet so I've just been having a look on the back but I'm also navigating for Sean so it's 400 metres turn right by the way Sean. Um, and then we're going to be heading into um, an area near the port, hopefully we'll be able to find a hotel there. Obviously with it being a city, it's quite expensive. So we're already arriving late. We don't want to spend too much. So we'll have a look when we get a bit closer into the town center, see if any hotels pop up that are a good, a good price. Then get checked in, get into some uh, comfy clothes and maybe take a walk along the Mag Malaga. <laughs> Uh, beach and grab some scrummy food. That's the plan anyway. But first you've got to turn right in a hundred meters. <laughs> so far Malaga looks like a very interesting city. Lots going on, lots of different smells, lots of different bars and restaurants. It's really hectic on the roads but we're nearly at the hotel. What a great day we've had today riding the Andalusian hills. But we're in Malaga now, we've checked into the hotel the bike safely parked away in the car park so we're gonna go get some rest now because tomorrow we're gonna go and explore Malaga so see you in the next episode